thing I set out to do with this show was to bring some hope and maybe even a little help into people's lives. So far, we've delivered life-changing surprises to people who visited our wish booth in New York City, but we realized there's no reason for New York to get all the love. So we packed up the booth and sent it with our correspondent, John Harris, to Chicago. But this time, we asked the people to make a wish for someone else, and what we heard was incredible. They say that when the wind blows, anything goes. But when we set up our wish booth at Chicago's Navy Pier, we found that people in the Windy City don't want just anything. They simply wish to make their loved ones happy. My wish today is for a nice honeymoon with my wife, Lillian. I have a wish for my friend, Sarah, and I would love for her to be able to go to Italy. My wish today is for my friend, Alicia. Elise has known her babysitter, Alicia, for 10 years and says she will do anything to help someone else. Alicia has inspired me in so many ways. I have never seen her complain. She walks in every single morning with a smile on her face. But Alicia and her husband are struggling to make ends meet. She works four or more jobs just to scrape together whatever she can. She's doing all of this with a car that probably has almost 250,000 miles on it. There's just nothing I would love more is to see her life just be a little bit easier. So it sounds to me like Alicia is, is, is an angel and is pretty much selfless. She'll do anything for her kids, anything for her family. None of this is for her. We were so touched by Alicia's concern, we reached out to Alicia to find out what motivates her to work so hard. A lot of it has to do with soccer. I'm a crazy mom, how about soccer? <laughs> which Alicia believes is a vital source of hope for her kids' future. It's important because they can get a scholarship to go to college and, you know, they can do something in this life. But money is a constant worry. I have to spend so much money, pay bills, pay mortgage, pay school, pay soccer, and buy groceries. Sometimes I gotta ask my mom for money. Sometimes my refrigerator is empty. And even though she puts on a brave face, the stress takes a toll. I cry a lot. I feel like I have so much stress. Like, I, sometimes I feel like I can't handle anymore. Which is exactly why Elise made that heartfelt plea in our wish booth. If I can make this wish come true for my friend, it would feel like I was getting a wish for me, too. Please welcome Elise Dayan. Welcome, Elise. Thank you. Alicia doesn't just work for you. She holds down a lot of jobs to make ends meet. Tell me about some of them. Well, she has a ton of jobs. Besides helping me, she helps two of my friends. She goes to my boyfriend's house in the morning, helps him get his kids off to school. She does the bookkeeping for her husband. She works at her sister's hair salon. And that's, you know, probably even more than that. I think that, you know, there's really nothing she wouldn't do because at the end of the day, it's all about her kids. Well, I'm so glad you stopped by the Wish Booth. I really yeah, am, Elise, because too. the story you told is so important. Alicia is backstage right now. She thinks that she is here to meet a producer for a show about soccer moms, which she's one of. She has no idea Elise is here and made that wish for her that we're about to grant. So let's bring her out. <laughs> I'm so excited. Alicia. Hey, I'm John Harris. Nice to meet nice you. To how meet are you. you? Good, how are you? Well, I'm well, thanks. Thanks for coming from Chicago oh, today. Thank you. I'm going to introduce you to, uh, to our producer who wants to talk to you about our soccer mom segment. Okay. Um, how many kids do you have? Three. You have three? They all play soccer? Yes, all of them. Oh, my gosh. You really are a soccer mom. <laughs> yes. Well, you're going to love, love our producer. Soccer. I really, okay. And I hope you get picked for this segment. Okay, thank Here you. Here we go. I want to introduce you to our producer. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing here? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. She went, oh, no. Okay. okay. Um, Elise, why don't you tell her? <laughs> so the other week I was at Navy Pier and the Meredith Show had a wish booth set up. And I don't know if you remember, but you've come to me a few times. Oh, now I'm going to get upset. <laughs> you come to me a few times and you know, your car and it keeps breaking down. And what do I always say to you? I wish there was something I could do to help you. I wish there was something I could do to help you. So I went into the wish booth. And I just made a wish for you. Alicia, I, I want you to see this, okay? Pay attention to this tape. 
My wish today is for my friend Alicia. I think she probably works four or more jobs just to scrape together whatever she can. If I need help with my kids, she jumps in right away. She's an incredible mom with incredible kids and an incredible husband, and she just does everything with a smile. And there's, there's just nothing I would love more is to see her life just be a little bit easier. Alicia, what does it mean to you to hear that, that somebody loves you so much and wants to make your life better because you don't take care of yourself? Oh, my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't you know, thank me. I'm always for her, and, and I know that she's always for me, and she knows this hard life for me, and, yeah. you know, to be, a, like, a full-time mom, work, and I love her kids, too, and yeah. I know she's the best. Tell me about that clunker of a car of yours. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, because you've had it a long time, a lot of miles, can't afford another one right now. Well, you know, you have a lot of friends out there besides Elise. Jimmy Dean in Chicago, they heard about you and your situation, and they wanted to reach out to you. They want to provide you and your family with a year's supply of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so you don't have to worry about that at all. And Alicia... They also want to give you a check for $25,000 so you can get that car that you want. For you, baby. Thank you. Oh, thank Elise because she did it. Oh. Now, the actual. <laughs> Alicia, the, the actual check will be a lot smaller. You'll be the one who have to carry this. Yeah, I can carry Whoa. this. What kind of a car would you like to get? Oh, my goodness. Doesn't matter. Just, <laughs> Just yes. as long as it goes, someone said in the audience. With a lot of smiles on it. You know, Elise had a lot to say about you. What would you like to say to oh her? Oh, my God. I really can't talk right now. Oh, I'm just, like, no. so happy about this moment. But thank you so much, Elise. I don't know how I can pay you this. You don't have to. Thank you, you do every day by yeah. coming to my house and helping me. And you're such a nice lady. Oh. <laughs> thank, thank you, Elise. You. You're the best. You're both the best. Here, I'm going to move the checks so you can hug each other. <laughs> That's why we do this. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you, sweetheart. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank if you, you know so someone much. who deserves, you're so welcome, who deserves to have a wish granted, let us know. Just go to our digital wish booth at MeredithVRShow.com and tell us their story.